Today is World AIDS Day, a time to raise awareness about the HIV AIDS epidemic and remember all the lives lost. First Lady Dr. Joe Biden continuing the tradition of placing a red ribbon on the north portico of the White House. After more than 40 years of the fight, and Chris Welsh takes a look at how far we've come and how far we still need to go. Medical experts say the disease kills four out of every 10 people it strikes. 40 years later, what we now call the HIV AIDS epidemic is less of a mystery, but the quest for a cure, an HIV vaccine, still eludes researchers. But every December 1st, since 1988, the world came together today in a common cause. The world has raised its collective voices. That was a crowd of activists this afternoon in Greenwich Village. But notable politicians, even celebrity advocates like Elizabeth Taylor, seen here in New York City, have come together on what's known as World AIDS Day. It's all to push for advances in treatment, prevention, and in the way we as a society view those who live with the disease. Exposing some of our prejudice in ways that are self-defeating. The whole attitude toward AIDS angered me, uh, incensed me. But that attitude still present today. Stigma, discrimination, racism, homophobia, transphobia. Krishna Stone with GMHC, the world's first service organization for people with HIV, says that beyond a reminder to treat everyone with dignity, the day also serves as an annual wake-up call. It's also an opportunity for us to recharge for the work ahead of us. And that includes work toward a vaccine and a cure. Scientists are closer than ever thanks to advances made during the work toward a COVID vaccine. And today at the White House, President Biden pledging an end to the epidemic here in the United States once and for all. We can do this. We can do this. Chris Welch, Fox 5 News.